back to my channel. So during the Christmas season, I know this is a busy time in general, but it's also a busy time for people that are on YouTube because a lot of people do vlogmas and bookmas and my animals are gonna be loud during this video, so I'm sorry. Uh, and I like to participate a little bit in that as well, although I don't have the time usually to make a ton of videos, even though I would like to. But this year I wanted to share what we got me and my kids my husband for christmas usually i think i share what i have received for christmas and then what we got the kids for christmas and i realized i never have shared what we get him and there's a couple reasons for that one i simply have forgotten and two he's so hard to shop for that usually i feel like christmas for him falls a little flat uh because he wants he doesn't want anything ever. See, I told you it's gonna be chaos in here. He usually doesn't want anything. And if he does, it's like tools. And that's all that he really asks for, but he never gets specific. Because if he really wants something or he really needs something, he will save up and buy that thing that he feels like he really needs. And he's not into sports or games or anything. But this year I'm a little excited about what we have got him for Christmas because I think he's gonna really enjoy, or I think he's gonna enjoy more than he has in the past what we've got him. I had a lot more ideas this year and I got some fun things that were specifically geared towards him and his interests. So I'm just gonna get into his little pile here and maybe this will inspire some gift giving ideas for anyone in your life really. He's not really husband or man specific. I mean, anyone I think would enjoy the gifts that we got him. So the first thing that I got, uh, and I actually forgot I got this until I was pulling out this stuff, is this pair of socks. And it says coolest guy on the conference call. And it's just kind of funny play on um, my husband's job. And I picked these up from a little uh, store that's local to us. Uh, the brand is Blue Q. So it's something that store carries, but it's just a local store. And I thought these were super cute. And then by the same brand, I also got him, um, I got him an oven mitt because he loves to bake and cook. He cooks all our meals in our family. He cooks dinner every night and he's great at it and he loves baking treats. So I got him this oven mitt and it says, bitch, I am the secret ingredient. And he saw this in a store, uh, in the store where I bought this from and I went back and bought it. He saw this and was laughing so hard. He loved this, so I grabbed this for him. I thought this was gonna be perfect. Now, the next thing I got him was from Etsy and it came in this cute little bag. I can't show you the other end, but I just kind of tried to open it carefully because I'm gonna use this as wrapping paper. But I got this from Etsy. I think it's from, who is it from? That's Bananas Us. And I'll link uh, everything down below for you guys to check out. Uh, is a last minute gift possibly if you think you might want to buy something like uh like these things for someone that you know and love but I got him this sweatshirt that says false on it and that is an office ref reference this is Dwight and how he always just says false um me and my husband are big office fans and we re-watched the entire show all the seasons and episodes every two years every year is a little much so we rewatch them every two years or so and that's just something that we bond and laugh to laugh over and of course everyone loves Dwight and his quirkiness and my husband loves big uh, comfy sweatshirts so I knew that would probably be a good choice it's just a matter of trying to find something that will appeal to his humor because <laughs> as he says that my humor is a little off and I find a lot of things funny that he doesn't think are humorous at all. So trying to find something that appeals to his humor is the difficult thing. I could find a sweatshirt anywhere, but I like fun, quirky and funny uh, sweatshirts. So I got that one from a maker on Etsy. Now the next one I can't really show you uh, because I don't wanna unwrap it and I'm gonna cover up uh, all the addresses and stuff, but this, is another Etsy find and I just love the way it's packaged so I really don't want to disturb it and unwrap it but that is a new wedding ring for him he loses his wedding rings I think this is gonna be his 
his fifth wedding ring since we've been married. So we've been married about 12 years and he loses his wedding rings periodically. Most of them have just flown off his finger because his fingers shrink dramatically in the winter and then they just fly off into nowhere. I think the last one he lost in the barn when he was forking hay around. So I got him a ring that's a half size smaller than he usually wears and I'll see if he like throws a fit about it because he feels very constricted easily um, by things he feels are too tight. So I hope this works for him. I will insert a picture right about here of the ring I got. And this one, if I'm remembering, is copper. So it's going to like change colors and tarnish. But his favorite ring that I got him before was a copper ring. And this one has like a cool wood grain design in it. And I have like a little inscription on the inside. So he's been without a wedding ring since he lost his last one for about six months now. And he's been mentioning how he would like a new one uh, so I got him that as well for Christmas now the next two gifts are ones that I help my kids pick out they always like to get each of us one thing and we usually help them with that we give them ideas or we ask them if they have any ideas and my eight-year-old decided that we needed another coffee mug in the house um, we love coffee mugs so it's totally fine but she wanted to pick out a coffee mug for her dad so we went on, on Etsy again, of course, and she found this one. Is that not adorable? It says Harry Slother on it. And my husband is a big Harry Potter fan, like the rest of our family. Um, so I think he's going to think this is really cute and funny. Before she got him a coffee cup that from Etsy as well that had a llama drinking a Starbucks drink on it because my husband also likes llamas and alpacas and things. Um, but he broke that one recently, so she thought he needed a new one. So she got him this. And then the last present that he's going to receive this holiday season is from our 11 year old. And I helped her out a little bit with this, but she agreed that this was a really good idea. Uh, as I mentioned before, my husband loves to bake. Uh, he is an amazing baker. He makes things from, from scratch all the time. He bakes several treats each week. And something that we discussed, me and my 11-year-old, that we thought he would find really useful is, let me get it here and pick it up, is a uh, spinning cake rack thing. I don't know exactly like the technical term for this. It's an icing pedestal maybe. So you put the cake on it and it spins so it makes it easier for you to ice the cake all the way around. Um, and this is just something to make his life a little bit easier and it's like this nice heavy um, stainless steel. I really like this. This actually, let me give credit where credit is due. My best friend actually gave us this idea because she loves to bake as well. So she was giving me gift ideas for my husband since he's a baker. And uh, so this is one that I took and sort of ran with. And so we got him that. And then there was stuff that came with that that I didn't deliberately order, but it came and the price made the most sense for what we were getting all together. But it also came with a few um, like icing type tools, like a new little spatula and a knife and a thing. What is this called? A cake thing, I don't know. And that is something that I just ordered off Amazon, but I can link that as well. I'll link everything down below uh, in case any of this appeals to, like I said, anyone in your life. I think these make pretty universal gifts, but these are ones that I really think my husband will get a lot of uh, joy from, and it's not just junk, you know, it's specific to him. But yeah, that's what we got my husband for Christmas. I thought it would just be good to put that out in the world, give people ideas. I love watching videos like these. I love seeing people, um, especially when you're getting like homemade and local gifts and stuff and like really gearing it towards a person's specific taste. I just think that's so fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you all again really soon.